today I'm going to be walking you through uh, flashing your uh, star sense auto align uh, controller and real quick the reason why you would want to do this and I assume already a few of you already know why so but for those of you that don't know I'll just quickly run through this so during the release of the star sense hand controller and camera uh, there's probably been a lot of fixes and that's the reason why you would want to do this um, so anyways you're gonna need a couple of things before you can actually do this so you're actually gonna need your star sense camera which would be this beast here this would be the star sense auto align camera and you're gonna need this and you are going to need the cable here that came with your star sense one end of that is going to plug into the base of your telescope mount whether it's the next star 5se 8se or whatever se or the avx or the cgem or edge or whatever telescope from celestron you're using one end of that will plug into the mount and the other end will plug into the back of the camera and then we're going to take the manufacturer the original controller that we used for our telescope before we bought the star sense controller this is going to be our controller from now on if you want to use the star sense camera you're going to need to use the star sense controller so we are going to need to have a usb type b cable because we're not going to be able to use a serial cable for this case so i put a link in the description if you don't have a usb type b cable and it's down there in the description should you want to buy it off of Amazon and I'm not gonna be sneaky um, but if you want to use that link I'll make a few pennies off of you buying that and then maybe I'll become rich but highly doubt that but anyways that's down in the description we're gonna need that cable because it's gonna need to be connected down here at the bottom of the con controller there the other end is gonna plug into your computer's USB port so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump over to the laptop and I'll walk you through uh, downloading the hand controller software to update your firmware. And we'll go ahead and go from there. Let's go ahead and download real quick the software we're gonna need in order to flush or update our Star Sense Auto Line camera and controller. So anyways, you're gonna want to head over to the link in the description below. That would be the software.celestron.com forward slash updates. And that's all, the link is in the description, but if you gotta point that out. Um, once you're there, hopefully, you know, you have internet because if you don't have internet, then you'll have a non-working site. So you will need a internet connection to go ahead and download this uh, software. Another thing that you are going to need is your computer to have Java installed. I know, if you don't have Java, <laughs> you have to download and install Java as well. So I'm going to head over here to CFM, and you know what, I'll put a... I might be able to put a link directly into the description uh, for the direct download for this as well. But anyways, we're going to want to head over to uh, the link and download the um, updates. And I believe I already have this, so I'm just going to skip that. I believe I already have this here. Yep, I already have that one. So this here is the um, software to update your uh, telescopes with. So if you have the, for example, the next uh, Star 5 SE or an SE type mount that uses computerized, that's computerized, you know, you can use this software to update that. You will obviously need a serial cable possibly for those telescopes though. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start up the CFM to uh, basically find the available updates. Alrighty then, so I've started up my uh, Celestron uh, Nexstar 5 SE and basically going to restart the Celestron firmware manager now that my telescope is on and we're going to see if the uh, Star Sense 
auto line camera shows up or not. Doesn't look like it. Looks like everything still might be the same. Oh, nope. Found the accessory of the camera. So now that we have the StarSense hand, uh, hand controller flashed, it looks like we're actually going to have to have the, the telescope mount on uh, apparently to update the firmware apparently for the camera. It's a good thing that uh, we went ahead and continue recording here, huh? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and update the camera now. So we'll go ahead and click the update button. Again, assuming that your camera is detected, it looks like it's possibly going to end up reflashing the hand controller and then the camera. So this is gonna take a bit of time since I didn't do this the first time. So hopefully you, when you're watching this video, you do this um, the first time. So hopefully you've actually watched this video up until now and you haven't started or you haven't already done the updating of your firmware. So it's good to know that uh, you need to have these both on. Once you have reached this message on your screen where it says all your devices are up to date, on the Celestron Firmware Manager screen, you are then ready to power cycle your telescope mount. And that's basically uh, everything you need to do to um, update your Celestron StarSense Auto Alon. If this video has helped you guys out, feel free to hit the like button. If not, Feel free to hit the dislike button. Anyways, if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I've included the link uh, in the description for uh, downloading the uh, Celestron Firmware Manager, as well as the link on Amazon, the USB Type B cable that you're going to need to update the hand controller for StarSense. And, um, that will basically help you out with doing that if you need to, if you don't already have that cable. That is it. Thanks for watching and clear skies.